Hi, this is Tim Gartman, and in this video I'll show you how to create a character in Fuse and import it into Ultimate FPS and Unity so that you can shoot at them, they'll chase you, they operate on a nav mesh, they attack when they get close, they try to bite you. Uh oh. <laughs> They're everywhere. They can die. Alright, so first of all, let's see how this scene was set up. So I'm going to start with a new scene. With a blank scene, we're going to use File, Save As, and we'll save the scene to our demo scenes. And this will just replace the navigation scene that we're going to create. Okay, now we have our main camera and directional light. And if I use the Fuse menu, we'll set up the Nav Mesh Demo. This will automatically create waypoints and obstacles and a terrain and bake the nav mesh layer. Okay, so what that did is it disabled the camera, left the directional light alone, it created a floor terrain, obstacles are these buildings to run around, and it created nav mesh targets. And these targets are just empty game objects placed throughout the scene for our nav mesh agents to run around and find as waypoints. Okay, the next step is we want to create the nav mesh agents out of the fuse character that we're going to create later. So I've already imported a fuse character. Okay, I'll use the fuse menu for a character and I'll set up our fuse character as an agent. This will replace the existing animation controller. Okay, and that has created two game objects here a group of nav mesh agents and a group of spawners. So the agents are preset up nav mesh agents placed throughout the scene. Okay, our nav mesh agents are disabled by default because the spawners are going to spawn these agents. Okay, and the spawners have a spawn rate and a limit that they'll spawn these agents in the map to give us characters to fight. Next, I'll select the nav mesh agents and make them compatible for UFPS. So I'll use the fuse menu and set up UFPS enemies. All right, and that adds the damage handler so that we can shoot at the agents. And now we need a player. So we use the UFPS menu and create a player. Okay, and this is our hero. And to make the hero detectable in the nav mesh, I'll use the fuse menu again and set up the player. I'll make one customization here to the hero, which is to go into the FPS camera. There's the machine gun, and in the shooter script, there's the sound, and there's the machine gun fire sound, and I just want to turn that off so that we can hear the noises that the enemies are going to make, because it's pretty loud. Okay, and we're all set. I'll save the scene, and now it's time to play. Okay, so now we can see our fuse character. They're running around, attacking. They do that hiss screaming when they first see us. I'll run around the co corner and ditch them, and they'll move on to their waypoint task, where they cycle between waypoints. All right, here we can see, here's all the spawn nav mesh agents chasing me. It's pretty cool, they don't bump into each other, or if they do, they're not walking through each other, which is nice. Nav mesh agents make that pretty easy. The fuse character is using the scary animation pack. So they've got their biting animation, their running, walking, crawling animations. So I can, there's this walking animation, a hit animation, crawling animation. There's their neck, neck bite. When he's crawling. Ah, he bit me. Okay, so he screams when he first sees me, and if I run around the corner, he'll scream again with a different sound. And of course, he has his death animation. 
All right, so let's see how to create these characters in Fuse and get them into Unity. Okay, so we're going to be creating a character in Fuse. Fuse is part of the Creative Cloud from Adobe. And before we make a character, it's good to have a reference image. So we're going to make this short little guy with a big head, different colored eyes, purple shirt, pants, and tan shoes. In Fuse, the first thing you want to do is assemble a character. We've only got one zombie available right now to pick from. If we right click the zombie head, we can say add matching parts. Then we can move along to the customize. And we'll see if we can get this character to look like this character. Okay, so first of all, he's going to be shorter. So if we go to the torso, torso overall, we can use the slider to make him shorter. Okay, legs. Legs overall, shorter. Arms overall, shorter. And then now we can focus on his head. All right, so he has an enlarged head. Click on the top of his head. There we go. It's kind of got a baby head going on. <laughs> okay. Looking good so far. All right, now we can move on to clothing. So purple shirt. Probably a dress shirt. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so for bottoms, need some jeans. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, and then for shoes, I guess that's okay. All right, now we can customize the colors. So first of all, his skin should be like a green. Okay, and now for his eyes. Okay, when it comes to teeth, uh, you can't really see the teeth unless we open the mouth. So if we go to customize, Mouth open here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I don't think I need to customize that too much. So he's also got a purple shirt. So let's go for a purple shirt now. Okay. Here we go. This is the last part of the shirt. There we go. Purple shirt. Good. And now for blue pants. Here we go. Boot cut pant. That's better. Okay, here we go. A character that kind of looks like a reference image. Made his head as big as possible, his eyes as wide as possible, his mouth's a little bit open. Should be ready for Ultimate FPS. All right, so first thing I'm going to do file, save as. I'm going to save this as the diner short round head guy number two as a fuse model, just so I have a backup because I can always go back into the recent section and get back to these presets. We can do two things here. We can save to Creative Cloud. This will save it for Photoshop if you want to do custom Photoshop work with the character. To get this character into Unity, we want to save to Mixmo so that we can animate the Fuse character. So I'll save to the Adobe Creative Cloud, and then I'll put it over in Mixmo. Okay, I'm using Chrome here. Uh, it'll automatically open up a 
browser instance. And as long as you have WebGL enabled, you'll be able to see it here. Okay, so now we have the character loaded in Mixmo. The auto rigger is done. You can see he's animating and it looks good because it's right out of use. All right, we'll finish and animate the character. Okay, so now we go to the store. We'll pick the scary zombie pack. Hit customize pack. I call it the scary zombie pack. Okay, and then I go through the, the different states and make sure that it's in place. For walk, run needs to be in place, crawl in place. <laughs> Running crawl needs to be in place. Okay, so that should be all good, ready for mechanism states. Everything's in place that needs to be in place. Okay, I'll use the gears. I'll just click save and add to my assets. Okay, view and download. Okay, we don't need to worry about the thumbnail. Cue the download. We want a FPX for Unity. Cue the download. Okay, now he's ready. Diner short roundhead number two and download. This will download the zip file of the animation pack. Okay, and you want to be downloading the animation pack. Okay, here we go. Here is the downloaded zip file of the animation pack. I'll just unpack it with 7-zip and do its own folder. And I'll copy this folder over to the demo. Okay, and paste this into the demo. Okay, and this will be all the FBX and animations that we need for the scary zombie pack. Inside a UFPS. And close it. Now if we switch over to Unity, okay, it's going to import the character. Okay, so this comes up, just say fix. That'll fix it to the normal map format. And now if we look, here is our diner short roundhead number two zombie. And let's just take a look at him in the scene. Okay, and one thing you'll notice is sometimes the normals can be inverted or it's got this transparent material on it. All we need to do to fix that is to go into his materials and switch them from transparent to opaque for each of these materials. There's our character, he's looking good. Okay, but he doesn't actually have to be in the scene yet. Earlier in the video, we created these agents. I'm going to delete the existing spawners and the existing agents. Okay, now we'll create a new agent and spawner from the diner show round head number two. We'll spawn the fuse character as an agent. So fuse agent, it will automatically create the animator controller. All right, and now select the agents and use the fuse again and set it up for ultimate FPS. And what that did is if we look inside of the agent, inside of, there should be a bone called spine and it's got a capsule collider on it and it's got a custom damage handler. So let's hit play. Okay, and if we switch to the scene, we can pick one of these zombies here and follow it. And we can see him moving around. So he encountered the hero player. He screams at him. Gets close. He's doing some screaming because he can't get to him. He's got bored and he's doing his waypoints. These guys are working on their waypoints. Here we go. This guy's doing what he's doing. 
Yeah, they are pink. Okay, cool. Alright, run for it. So he can be killed. Got the FPS integration here. He can come from anywhere. Okay, so you can see here he is, the fuse character running around in UFPS. Totally killable and can attack the player. Doing this Mixamo Scary Zombie Pack AI animation. Alright, so you've seen how to create a character in Fuse, bring it into Unity, and integrate it into Ultimate FPS. Okay, well thanks for watching.